Hello, thought I'd do a quick update on this little doll's house that I've been working on. It's finished for the most part, apart from a garden scene and an internal wall, dividing wall for the upstairs. I, my little boy, my little boy made a seagull for the roof. In, like as if it's taken off, so that's on there. Um, these are the planters that I coloured in with some felt tip pens in one of my previous videos. I'm quite happy with how they turned out. They look okay. And I've got a few 12th scale pieces on this doll's house. The chair there, the two dogs, the planters, and I think I can get away with them. So I'm going to leave those on there. I added some moss balls to the roof and I quite like how they look I'll probably add some other bits and pieces like leaves and stuff at some point so I'm really liking how it's turned out so far I've got a letterbox and a door knocker and a lock on the front door the positioning of those things were awkward because the door isn't very wide frame wise but I, I did put those on and they do look okay so I'm happy with those I got I stuck the roses on I used a hot glue gun to put these on I could do with another piece there actually but yeah they are just feem or polymer clay and that's the front of the house. I ended up using an enamel, umbral enamel paint to do the um, trims and the, all the white on the doll's house. It was satin and it was 130 was the colour. I missed a little bit there, I can see. <laughs> I had to touch that up. Okay, so that's the front of the house. Now moving round to the side. If I just try and spin it a little bit without everything falling over. There's the side of it. And the magnet there, I want to try and make um, a couple of bird houses and stick a magnet on the back of them and then attach them to the magnet on the wall so that because they are holding the lights on inside. But I don't want to see them, obviously, so I'm going to do some bird houses. just want to have a look at some designs and make some. I'm not sure how I would disguise this one, probably with like some sort of trailing plant or something. I still have to do a garden scene. So my other half's going to cut me an 18-inch piece of... piece of wood or MDF square piece to make the base for the garden. This is glued on. Um, you can just see through the window there. I'll just turn it a little bit more. Hopefully nothing's going to fall over. I did add a bit of trim there which and it's on the other side as well and I think that looks better. I need to get this on a turntable because it's really awkward as it is at the minute. Right, there's the inside of it. I did have my 24th scale bathroom suite and it kind of looks okay. The bath mat is ginormous. It looks huge. It's got to come out of there. In fact, I'll take that out of there now and put it in one of my 12th scale houses. So I've got to stitch another smaller mat to go inside. But I really like these. They're only dinky little things. And um, yeah, so I need to do a, a partition wall in there to separate that two rooms there. The two rooms there, yeah. So this is Sylvanian family's furniture. I think I told you in one of my other videos. And I've got some battery operated lights. Um, a 12th scale 
hot water bottle but I think again I think it looks okay in there there are certain pieces I can get away with so that's the upstairs I used printable wallpaper which I got off of the internet free printable wallpaper this side was out of the doll's house world magazine because I subscribed to the digital issue of that as well so I just printed those off downstairs is the living room and I've got a 12th scale cat in there but he doesn't look too bad I mean I've got I've got two cats and one of them is absolutely huge <laughs> so in proportion it looks about the same the fireplace there was just a piece of wood with some polymer clay in black sculpted to look like the um, fireplace in the grate and then painted with gold paint as glitter to make the embers and I used a cutout to do the picture in the frame there I need to make some more pictures I made the curtains and I made the blinds they're not a great they're not great they're quite rusty <laughs> so I need more practice but um, I want to find something to cover these two lamps with because you can still see the glue where I took the trims off they were really cheaply done and um, they weren't cheap to buy but they were cheaply done uh, cheaply made and I didn't like the look on them so I want to put something on there some sort of cover there's two of those lamps in there the kitchen my son and I made some miniature food and he made the jelly and the cupcakes and the apple that's on the top there um, I made some vegetable uh, I made a vegetable basket vegetable salad there's some peppers and lettuce and broccoli some strawberries there's a lettuce in the sink with a snail on it which my son made that's being washed to get the snail off of course <laughs> so that's the kitchen and then if I can I will turn it around again to show you the other side which pretty much looks like it's exactly the same as the other side so the two sides are identical pretty much um, I still haven't covered that bit of brown paint there, I need to do that. But um, otherwise it's pretty much finished and I'm really happy with how it's turned out. And it's just a case of making a garden scene and getting those magnets covered up. Making some bird boxes or something to go on there and a trailing plant. Just trying to turn it around without everything falling over. I really need a turntable on this. I like turntables. So yeah, so that's this little project. I bought the kit from Etsy, although they are available on Amazon, on, not Amazon, eBay, sorry, as well. And I'm really liking how a £20 kit's turned out. So that's what I paid for it anyway. I know that they've raised the price slightly now, but they're still quite affordable. And I was really pleased with the quality of this kit. I enjoyed working on it. And I intend finishing the complete piece, as in doing the garden and trailing plants and bird boxes, and then calling it done because I have quite a few projects which are not completed and this year I don't want to create any more so I want to finish this one and then start one of the other ones so that's how it looks this is my messy corner over here where I do my crafting so um, I just want to put it on a turntable as well so yeah I'm really pleased with how this project's turned out and I highly recommend this
kit it's the Anne Shirley and you can get them from quite a few sellers on eBay and Etsy so thanks for watching take care everybody and I'll see you again soon bye